Another very important pediatric topic for PLAB2 examination, MMR vaccination. In this video, I will discuss key points to remember for your PLAB2 examination. Measles, mumps, and rubella. Measles is one of the most contagious diseases. It's a viral illness spread by coughing and sneezing. Although most people who catch it will recover eventually, however, it can lead to life-threatening complications. It may cause diarrhea, otitis media, and pneumonia. Cases of measles have been going up in the UK in the past few years, with too few people being vaccinated. Mumps, it causes swelling of the parotid glands, and it may cause complications such as meningitis and deafness, swelling of the ovaries and damage to the testicles. Rubella, which is also known as German measles, it can be harmful to unborn babies of infected pregnant women. Congenital rubella syndrome may cause deafness, brain and heart damage, and eye defects in unborn babies. Measles, mumps, and rubella can be prevented through just two doses of the MMR vaccine. These are offered free by the NHS to all young children in the UK. Newborn babies have passive immunity because antibodies have passed into them from their mothers and are protected against many diseases, including measles, mumps, and rubella. However, this protection only lasts for a few weeks or months which is why the MMR jab is given to children just after their first birthday. Why MMR vaccination is important? You need to explain these points to a mother who comes with some concerns with MMR vaccination. Although MMR diseases are not very common in the UK, however, if we stop vaccinating, these illnesses would reappear. The UK has already lost its measles-free status just three years after the virus was eliminated in the country. Moreover, an unvaccinated child may also come into contact with a foreigner who has entered the UK and he, is, or he or she is infected. Or if you travel abroad where these diseases are prevalent, your child may get these infections. MMR vaccination not only lowers the chances of your baby contracting these serious illnesses, but also prevents other children from contract, uh, contracting uh, the disease. Now coming to MMR vaccine, it is given in a three in one single shot. There is no additional advantage of giving three separate single injections against each disease. Rather the child will go, will go through unnecessary pain on three separate occasions. In case if separate vaccine is given for measles, mumps and rubella, as separate injection, you need to wait four weeks in between each vaccination. First dose of MMR vaccination is given between 12 and 13 months of age, and second dose at three years, four months. Any person who is unvaccinated can have the MMR vaccine at any age. MMR vaccine is safe, and there is no link between this vaccine and autism or any bowel problems such as colitis and ag allergy is not a contraindication for giving the MMR vaccine. There are some contraindications, untreated malignant disease, immunocompromised patients, or people on immunosuppressant medications or who received such treatment within the last six months, such as steroids, radiotherapy, or cytotoxic drugs. Before giving MMR vaccine, take a short history. You need to check about any recent illness and is the child currently unwell need to ask about previous immunizations were there any problems afterwards any long-term illnesses are they on any regular medications and any allergies these are the important questions there are some expected normal reactions after mmr vaccination which you need to clear to the mother after six to ten days the measles component causes a fever and a measles like rash and loss of appetite but the individual is not infectious to others at around 12 to 14 days the rubella vaccine may cause a brief rash and possibly mild fever 
the rash may also rarely occur up to six weeks later. After two to three weeks, mumps like symptoms in some children, such as fever and swollen glands, may appear. Some side effects of MMR vaccine because it is given as an in injection in the arm or legs, leg muscle, and uh, it can cause redness, swelling, and thickness around the site of the injection. A local anesthetic cream can be applied to the skin to suppress the pain of injections. And fever is very common but not dangerous. Ask the mother to give carpool to the baby. Safety netting is also important in every station. So you need to tell to the mother, contact your GP or go to the nearest A&E. If after MMR vaccination, your, you notice in your baby high, very high temperature up to 39 to 40 degrees centigrade, any fits, high pitched cry, or if you notice a huge swelling anywhere on the body, but especially around the site of injection or lips and mouth. So this was all about MMR vaccination, all the important points which you need to remember. Subscribe to my channel and uh, like and share. And uh, new videos are regularly uploaded. So press the bell icon to receive notification about my new videos. Thank you very much.